Bristol Community College, Mathematics with Dan Avedikian, Math 060, Topics in Developmental Mathematics, Section 4.6, Problem 17. This is Section 4.6, Problem 17. It says 90 is what percent of 720? So to solve a problem like this, what we want to do is set it up as a proportion, and to use the proportion, we want the problem in the form A is P percent of B. And we do have that. A is P unknown percent of B, some other number. So we have the form that we want. If we didn't have the form that we wanted, we'd have to rearrange the question so it's in that A is P percent of B form. But it is, right, right from the question. So our proportion will use the formula A over B equals P over 100. And as you fill this in, what I say is you go around the circle. A is P percent of B. Just go right around, come back to the beginning. So, A is 90, is your equals, what percent, so that's the unknown, P over 100, percent is 100, the what is really the P, the unknown, of 720. So now we have an equation with one unknown. We can solve it when we cross, multiply, and divide. Now, you can get the answer just the way it's written. You can reduce if you want. You'll get the same answer either way. You can at least chop off a zero. Now, I say chop off a zero. That's not very mathematical. Technically, I'm dividing 10 into the numerator evenly to get 9. Divide 10 into the denominator evenly to get 72. And that will work. That's good. You can go right from there, cross, multiply, divide. You may or may not notice that it can be reduced a little further. 9 divides into 9 once, 9 divides into 72 8 times. Uh, if you notice that, you make the numbers a little smaller, even easier to deal with. If you don't notice, you'll still get the same answer in the end, with a little bit bigger numbers in the in-between steps, but the final answer will be exactly the same. So it really boils down to 1 over 8 equals p over 100, and now I can cross multiply. 8 times p is 8p. 1 times 100 is 100. Solve for p, divide away the 8. 100 over 8. Now, unfortunately, 8 does not divide in evenly. We're getting a little bit of a decimal. If you have a teacher that allows you to use a calculator for this class, just take your calculator, enter the numerator first, 100, divide by the denominator, 8 equals, and the calculator will just give you the answer immediately. On the other hand, if your teacher does not allow you to use a calculator for this class, you have to divide the long way, which is really not the end of the world. So the numerator of 100 goes under your division symbol. The denominator of 8 will go in front of the division symbol. You just do it. 8 divides into 1. 1's not big enough, so go out one more. 8 divides into 10. That'll fit. 8 goes into 10 once. 1 times 8 is 8. 10 minus 8 is 2. Bring down the next digit, which is 0. 8 divides into 20. Well, as close as you get is times 2. 2 times 8 is 16, so it did not go in evenly. That's all right. You have a remainder. Six, uh, 20 minus 16 is 4. So to deal with your remainder, put a decimal and add a 0 on the end. And when you introduce a decimal to the number under the division symbol, you have to bring it straight up vertically and put it into your answer also. That extra 0 that I added can be brought straight down next to the 4. 4 with a 0 after it is 40. So 8 times something is 40. Well, times 5 fits perfectly. 5 times 8 is 40. 40 minus 40. Remainder is 0, so it fit in exactly. So the answer is 12.5, or you can call it 12 and a half. So P is 12.5. Now that's a percent, so if you really want to do a nice job, you can make it 12.5 and put the percent symbol after it. And that answers the question. 90 is what percent of 720? 90 is 12.5 percent of 720.